Hey guys, Blue Dubs here, and welcome back to another video. This is going to be the last part of me drawing LGBT flags as people. Um, and then I already have the voiceover for uh, Monday's video where I talk about my favorite canon LGBT characters. All I gotta do is edit that together, and I'll have that out as soon as possible. Um, besides that, uh, First, I am doing the asexual flag. Uh, it took me a bit to figure out what I really wanted to do for this character, but I decided to go with more of a... Uh, just a person who doesn't s look like... I, I don't know exactly. There is a variety of people who identify as asexual. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have any romantic feelings for people. That is a romantic, I believe. But, um, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I really don't know how to explain it. You'd ha have to look it up or ask someone who identifies as asexual. But they come in a, those people, you know, come in a variety of colors. So, um, don't take any of these things that I draw as like stereotypes or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've been trying to do this series without trying to offend anyone, okay? <laughs> um, but I decided to go with a more intellectual sort of looking character because that's what I personally would picture as someone who doesn't necessarily have any romantic attraction for people. But that's probably because of me stereotyping certain anime characters who just don't give a crap about, you know, romance and crap. Because of... <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. It, it's like 2 to 3 a.m. at the moment. And I'm trying to make commentary. <laughs> it's the only quiet time that I could ever get. Uh, but, um, yeah, so here I am just doing the line art. I decided to just give them, um, a simple vest with a dress shirt underneath with a pair of dress pants and a tie. Uh, the glasses was something I originally meant to give the character, but I had forgotten in the sketch phase somehow, but, um, oh well. But overall, I, I kind of like this character design. I definitely could have done a way better job with him, but, um, you know, I, I, I kind of like towards the end of this you know, after drawing all these characters, I was wavering between them turning out well and them turning out bad, especially when I compare them to the other flags I did based off of the LGBT flags and their colors and things like that. Um, but I gotta say, uh, the next flag I do after this one is by far my favorite out of all of them. Uh, and I just really like the design I did for him. But, uh, back to this one. Uh, it, I played around with the colors of the pants for a while. I was originally going to do, like, a striped kind of effect on the pants there to give it more of a dressy pants vibe. But I decided to go with a lighter purple, uh, since I didn't want it to just be black, white, and a little bit of purple. Now, here I am getting into the straight flag. Now, I wasn't originally going to include the straight flag, but then I decided, like, you know, straight people exist, too. I wouldn't know. I mean, <laughs> we're surrounded by the straights. Uh, <laughs> but, um, I'm actually in love with him. Uh, I want him to marry me. Uh, I came up with a small backstory for him while I was drawing him because I am in love with him so much. I want to marry this man. My, he is my ideal. <laughs> if, if anyone asks, this is my ideal man. Um, 
I decided to go with the Chad, but like the nice Chad. The Chads that like, bro, I got you. I support you, bro. And you know, I had to have him flexing. This is the first time I've ever drawn like a relatively buff man. Um, I also decided to give him a little uh, straight ally tattoo on his shoulder because it's adorable. Um, if I'm just saying, if any of you know people who who matches his description, you know, hit me up. <laughs> I have my email. <laughs> no, no, I'm kid. I kid. Uh, but if he's legal age for me, I mean, I I'm a, a minor. But if he's younger than eighteen. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, anyways, I like the hairstyle I gave him as well. Uh, I was I had to look up a couple references because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to give him because I didn't want to give him the hairstyle that I've been, I give to like most guys either. There's just like a, only like a select few that I tend to give to males I draw. Uh, same thing goes with the women as well. Uh, the line art on this was a little thicker than the others, but I do realize that actually kind of looks way better than before. I don't know why. I might I yeah, I don't know what pen size I used for the other ones. I'll have to go back and check that later. But I don't know. I, I'm seriously trying to figure out everything. But um yeah, my art has kind of depleted in the past couple of years, and I'm trying to get back on track. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I was kind of going for just like, you know, Jim Chad look. <laughs> just, just overall. He, he's, he's a good boy. Uh, <laughs> I, I should probably tell you that story I came up with him. It's not that long, but, um, it, it's about the tattoo. Um, I like to think that uh, someone's seriously driving this early in the morning. It's like 3 a.m. Jesus, some people. <laughs> uh, I like to think that he got his tattoo after his brother or cousin or something like that came out to him and he's like, yo, that would make a pretty cool tattoo. And then the other person was like, what? What? He's like, hold on. And then, like, a couple days later, he comes back with a tattoo, and then they cry, and it's cute and adorable. And have I mentioned how much I love him? His name is uncanonically Chad. I, I don't think his name is actually going to be Chad, like, because I... <laughs> but, I, I mean, I'm not necessarily naming them. I've kind of just decided none of these characters are going to have names because you guys haven't really suggested anything. And so, I mean, I guess they are better nameless, uh, but his name is uncanonically Chad, but he's good boy Chad. Like, I had to really struggle not to give him a bro right under that straight ally freaking tattoo, <laughs> mainly because uh, when I was watching um, Ginger Ninja, that's what they kind of talked about. Anyways, uh, <laughs> with that... Um, that we're at the end of the video. <laughs> uh, please remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.